All right, so that was an abbreviated version of the intro. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, right here, seven minutes in the morning. Thank you so much for being here. So I got a little late start on it this morning. It's dark outside. Well, if you're in the Huntsville area, I think we're going to have some rain here in a little bit. But uh, it's dark. Had to f- mess around with the lights for a little bit to, so we'd be able to see each other this morning. But uh, at any rate, made it here. It is Friday. That means it's free coaching Friday. So awesome to have you here. I think I have uh, an interesting question to answer. <clears throat> and um, so we'll get to that in just a second. Good morning, Mr. Joe. Thank you for being here. Listen, if you are listening to the show on the podcast, uh, either on Stitcher, iTunes, Spreaker, TuneIn, wherever you are listening to your favorite podcast, did you know you can also watch the show every morning, 7 a.m. Central Time on Facebook? Just go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That takes you to the right page. And here comes the rain. It might get a little bit loud here, so I'm going to get on with it. Yesterday I had a fantastic conversation with the uh, leader of an organization who felt like there were way too many irons in the fire. And that was making it difficult for them to decide what to do next. And so that... I've we had that conversation I gave a couple of pieces of advice Um, but here's the important take well let me get to the takeaway in just a minute so the two pieces of advice that I gave is one and you've heard this if you've watched the show you've heard this many many times be super crystal clear on the outcome that you're trying to create so I ask about that what's the outcome you're trying to create and um through that conversation we got to the mission of the organization and listening to the mission of the organization my encouragement walking away from that uh, to this person was in your free time go read that and find the measurable words that are in there great sounding mission with nothing in there that was measurable nothing that hurt you so you have to be really clear on what you're trying to create and you have to be able to measure whether you've achieved that or not. Right? To support something, to encourage something, uh, to embrace something. Great words. Unmeasurable words, but great words. So how do you know if you have achieved that? It's kind of like I've said before, you know, if your goal is to make more money this year to increase revenue. Well, here's a 20. You've got more revenue than you had last year. Congratulations. Right? You have to have a measurable uh, metric that you can use to determine whether you made it or not. So that's number one. Be absolutely positively crystal clear on what it is you are trying to create. And then number two, use that as a filter for all of these activities if you feel like you have too many irons in the fire then you probably had too many in the fire a long time ago it's just that now it's really to begin beginning to wear on you right so if you so use that as a filter once you understand you're you're really clear on what you're trying to create what you're trying to achieve then use that as a filter to make sure that you're pursuing the right things that's all. It, it's that simple. And here's a little power tip. Uh, we I briefly shared this yesterday, but I'll share it with you because you guys are awesome. Um, when you're crystal clear on what the outcome is, make sure that everybody else working in the organization, that their outcome is pointed toward helping you achieve that outcome. Right? If you'll do that, then you're almost guaranteed to make your outcome, right? because everybody else is working toward yours but when they when everybody has their own definition of success and their that success is pointed in a different direction than the organization it's not going to work it's not going to work all right so that's it uh it, the rain is coming so uh, i'm going to wrap up things a little bit early today only oh man i don't think i've ever done this in less than seven minutes 
That's fantastic. Hey, uh, good morning, Jeremy. Good morning, Keith. Thanks to both of you for being here also. Hey, don't forget, uh, we're going to see where we can find this guy over the weekend. Weekend's coming up, and that means follow me on Instagram. That's where I post over the weekend, and uh, we'll see what kind of trouble we can get this guy into. I think next week I'll have the details of the naming contest. I got some great great ideas in the comments yesterday uh, for naming the chicken, but uh, we'll, we'll launch that officially and for sure on Monday, so be sure to tune in for that. Thank you so much for being here. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you again on Monday. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Watch, watch the Instagram feed. It'll be interesting.